Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting rain to episode 10 of So I'm a Spider Show. What? It's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Right? Now when I hear it, that does not sound like Sarani Hayami. That sounds like Aoi Yuki. And <laughs> Aoi Yuki play how many roles in this show? Hell, maybe she might be you. I don't know, because she sounds like Aoi Yuki. But then, because <laughs> she's playing like several different types of characters. Unless she got like a twin sister or some shit, but I, I don't think Wakaba has a sister. Oh, that means you're almost close to getting out of here. Thank God. <sighs> Ow. No, something kind of... The biggest thing that I'm kind of wondering right now in this episode, are we going to go back between her and Shun? Especially Shun, because of the now... Uh, I can't speak. Now that his brother is dead and he's now officially the next hero... Are they going to show a funeral for his brother and such? How is he going to feel for the rest of this episode? Is it going to be Sue and the rest of the girls comforting him the whole entire time? Is he going to be wanting to be alone and his thoughts like me and so many other people and such? But who knows what he's possibly going to do? <laughs> No. Oh my god, he's in this too? I can't.
They're probably not even going to go out and find his body. So he'll just be in the desert for the rest of his life, really. Well, his body is, but, you know, he's already dead. Okay, here. I got one question real quick. All right. So since these two right here well, as well are also related to Shun and Julius, why weren't they named the hero instead of, I mean, Shun? I mean, because they're both clearly older than Shun. And you would think it would go by age or like, what's the other word I'm thinking of? You know how, okay. Um, ranking. There we go. Um, and such like, or... If this is print such and such, this is the next one in line, next one in line, next one in line, next line, and such. But who knows? But still, he did the baby. That's a lot of things on him. Or. No, okay, never mind. Let me scratch that thought. Mm. Poor baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm? 
Basically, yes. Something tells me that, you know, he's the only one who's going to survive this because, I mean, you know, modern day, he is older. Right. Yeah, because if you touch him, yeah. oh, no, it's a spider web. It's got to mean they're close. Mm. No, y use fire. Yes. Seriously? Mm -mm. Just a little bit. I mean, hell, look at all the shit Wagaba made from the freaking nine weeks we've watched this show. Now ten officially, but damn. Oh. Y'all screwed. Y'all gonna die. Mm -mm. <laughs> Are you okay? What did it do to you? Too late. Oh, damn. You say that, but I would be a little suspicious of him. I'm sorry.
there. They're just going down like flies. He's going to, like, like I said, he's going to be the only one who's going to be able to get out. I told you. Even if you run for it, you're not going to be able to escape. Telling me this spider is no fucking joke. See, just just get out. Get the fuck out. Oh shit! You buddy is he about to get the fuck out? Like screw you. He leaving. Yeah, let's not do that again. Y'all lost a lot of fucking lives. They all dead. You have to live. Come on, damn it. That's fucked up. That is so fucked up. I mean, you get out and then bam, you just die. Hell, he was fucking bleeding. He lost his arm. He should be dead, but... Uh, yeah. Oh, That's it. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, there's three minutes left in this. What the fuck can you put in three minutes? Okay. The fact that it's a possibility that Romanticama has to possibly go against another spider like that. Like, what if he might not survive this time? The, you know, the percentage of that is probably, like... Very low. I, I mean, like, I was expecting at least the dude who had a kid to survive, but nah, like, mm -mm, only one can truly survive. You know, the, the final boy, the final girl, the final whoever, just like, ooh, just to move on and eventually face that thing again. But that thing was a little too damn powerful. Like, no matter what he had up his sleeve to defeat this spider... That spider came back with a fucking vengeance no matter what. Like, slicing and dicing all the freaking... What the fuck? The... 
bruh this was a this was too much we're not even at the halfway point of this show yet but the, oh my god So she's going to look like that. I mean, I would have liked to see, if she was going to evolve. I mean, it would have been nice to see. But no, I'm guessing we have to wait until next week, which sucks. Okay. So, I do like the aspect that it did focus on three different characters from three different story points. Continuing the story of Wakaba, um, the situation of Shun, and him now dealing with being the next hero. And then, you know, our resident new character and such. Biggest thing is now I'm kind of wondering, and I've kind of been wondering this, I think, ever since Shin has gotten his story in this show. How, now, and now adding this new person, how all three of these stories are going to come together when they're all going to, like, clash and such. When certain characters are going to meet and such. But it seems like, especially with Shun and, um, Mimensa Sama, their story is technically already coexisting. While Wakaba is just, like, you know, scaring her way to the top and such. But, I, I mean, I, I still feel bad for Shun because, in my opinion, he is just a baby. And I feel like he shouldn't have to deal with something like this. But he was chosen for a reason because of that. And I get that. But, like, oh, my God, it's just a little too much. I mean... I've been there, we've all been there, where someone puts a little too much pressure on you, and sometimes it is like a ticking time bomb, and you just break down, and you need to break down, because sometimes it is a little too much, and it's a little over-exhausting when you have, like, umpteen many things, whether, especially, like, if it's a, you're arranging a funeral or something for a loved one, and it's you versus, like, well, because me, I don't have any brothers or sisters. Technically, I do, but we ain't going to talk about me. Um, for an example, let's say it's you versus your brother and sister, and your brother and sister are, like, arguing you back and forth, like, this needs to be this, this, that, and the sort, and such. And you didn't know certain things and everything, and it's just a little too much for you. You're going to explode. You you keeping that inside and such, it's, it's going to be too much. So I do kind of hope in these next few weeks, which Shun and his situation now, dealing with the fact that he is officially the new hero of the story, and him dealing with that trauma over his brother of Julius, that he is able to talk because mainly we've seen him cry. And so I, I love the fact that he is crying and showing his emotions because it's good to show that. But I do want his friends, mainly his sister, and um, what's her face, and then also I think it's Fi, Fi or Fi, um, 
to comfort him and try to just, you know, be with him and listen to him and such. But honestly, we really ain't going to know until we get to the next episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of So Miss Spider So What. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 11. Bye, guys.